Hello, hello, it's Madeline here. And I hope you're all using your wonderful magic tricks out there in the world. Um, I wanted to come on here. Uh, last night I was, I was in a bit of a funk. You know, those places where you're, you're not quite sure exactly what it is. It might be, you know, it might be this thing. It, it might be that thing, but it seems to kind of color everything. And you look around you and you're like, oh, there's nothing really wrong. But so what exactly is going on here? Well, this is a perfect place for magic. So <clears throat> sometimes what's needed is obviously a good night's sleep or, you know, looking after your magical body. But we can bring in the elements of the trickster. So the, the trickster was really the, it was really based in divine feminine magical energy. Tri meaning three, the, the triple goddess. Um, but now we, we see it in very different ways as like the Joker card and you know, the magician that's usually, usually male. But if we can bring in some of the elements of the trickster, we can start to shift and change and start to break apart um, certain energies. So I know when I'm running groups or I'm running workshops and, you know, sometimes things can get pretty heavy and you can feel, you know, there's a heavy energy in the room and it needs something to just break it up a little bit. So that it's like chewing your food even better because you can't take one big lump all together. And so often I'll use like a shift of attention, music, um, humor, uh, you know, uh, jokes, making light of something um, can really help to kind of lighten it and break apart that that dense energy. So here's some trip, trip, tricks for the trickster in you when you find that. We often need the, the, a sharp, precise blade to cut things. And it's, it's no different than when the phone rings and you're kind of broken out of a dream, but to cut through the illusions. So a few different ways that, you know, our ancient magical ancestors used to use was, was clapping, um, stomping your feet, um, yelling, um, uh, sh you know, shifting energy, loud music, movement, um, yeah, um, yes, stamping, I said that, um, clapping, ringing a bell, these types of things are magic for the trickster to shift. Think of it as slicing through the illusion with a knife, a shift, a change of, of energies <clears throat> to start dissolving and breaking up. And we use this all the time in actually in anxiety and trauma and pain management that when those dense energies start rising in the form of emotions or um, negative thought streams to slice through them with a precision of the um, structural feminine. So the feminine is light and flowy for sure. And she's also very precise and powerful with her movements, with her words. And she has the, the ability in a very loving way to slice through you with a simple word, doesn't she? For me, the words of poetry, the words of Irish poets, they slice through my illusions. And it's not so much the words, but it's almost how they're being said. It's the poem, it's the download. That for me is an instant. It is an instant shifting and dissolving of dense emotional, emotional energies. So use your trickster powers, cut through the illusions precisely, effectively, and with the accuracy of the sharp edge of a diamond. Keep practicing, loves. You got this. And leave a comment below. Tell me what you use for your precise cutting with your diamond edge.